GT500 series requires my car to have 708 horsepower, which is why I picked this Unicia Jex Skyline. Incidentally, this is also the last race of the speciality stuff. So let's let's do it. GT500 series, pretty much the same. Five laps, five five races, 50 grand per race win, and 200k at the end. First up, Laguna Seca. And we're going to go into our settings to change the bleed tires again. You soft. Beat this name. Charles. Charles Car Carolus Andrea Mahetsinero. What a name. All right, here we go. Instant start. This car sponsored by Tony. Look, there's a Skyline. How solid. There's also Raybring NSX. Yeah, but this is more powerful and ha and actually handles a little bit better. Also, I already used the Castro Muga. Also, this is a championship race, so no, it won't show up. You have the STP wiper job a couple of times. Yeah, that is a very quick car, especially in this, but this is by far the most powerful. It's also the fastest, it's got four wheel drive. And actually handles better. Well, actually not just handle better, but... Skyline! So juicy! Oh, chat. This one too. Well, yeah, it does actually tank. Lazarus! I can't Apparently I can't look either. I think the STV Viper actually handles better than the Eureka. Although the Eureka is made for the Mons, which means extremely fast through every single straight, the STV just outdoes it every single corner. Fanta Orange. I've noticed it has about the same in my experience. I mean, I must be an idiot. 96 GTSR, however. Oh, God, remember that in GT1? That was ridiculous. That handled like, well I don't know if it was the physics or it was, or it was like actual drivers, but in GT1 it was insane. The GTSR in GT1 was inconsistent in its handling, partly because it'd be, in the Japanese version it handled like a god. In the power version, it handled like it was like it had its tail stuck in a, in a bear trap and screamed. The meme, bro. I will 
take a look after this championship. Don't go to sit here. Please get the bloody gravel car. I know you like the gravel because you probably drive, but stay out of it. Nice. One Supra, my favourite one. Denso Sard, Calsonic, Casual Mugen. What Casual Mugen was in this? Incidentally, Tank, it came L A S T. That is not a threat. Not by a long, long way. Anyway, 50k. 50,000! We're almost at a million people! Isn't that great? Super Speedway! This is going to be quick. I would say it was a threat, just that it could enter. Oh, well, anything! Anything in this could enter. Also, Murph would be as the best motto. Everybody edits! Bobbing car. Oh, the brakes on this are brilliant. Stop bombing! Track the way the tracks are. Yeah, probably because of. They have to use like angles instead of smooth, instead of smooth areas. The rip off of this game phrase everybody pays. I mean, they were, they were working with like 64 bit technology here. In terms of graphics, at least. And then when we finally got GT3, God said if, let there be, let there be smooth tracks. And it was good. This is not for Nintendo PlayStation. Also, 31.999. I know I'm going to get a slower lap on this one. Oh, bloody hell, I did. If 
Grindelwald had made the GT3, imagine how it would have looked. Yeah, I can imagine it being like miles smoother. I can imagine being more smooth and looking much better. We win in the shortest race of the entire series. The turbo sounds getting really annoying as well. Hitler would say this in there in this way. Name, name, name. I guess you could say he was right. Another 50k. Lovely jubbly. Exit. I do not want to exit. Thank you very much, game. Right, Rome circuit. Come on. Got the gearing right. I like Grindelwald, but I really hated it with some cars. Because the physics were like really weird in Grindelwald, I'm flipping. The physics were really weird in Grindelwald. So sometimes you'll have cars that fly off through corners, and then there's some cars that stick to the corners and actually hit, like stick to the freaking wall. Raper is behind, that's never good. Oh, no. Italian traditions and replace spaghetti with rice. No joke. The risotto comes from. Ironically, from an Italian dictator. Whoa, easy now, car. I don't think 
buckaroo with me. Third race finished, over and done with. Fifty K and we're finally a millionaire. Now for the next race, Trial Mountain. This is gonna be hell. Come on. God oh. Cars in front, they decide to fly. Also, that was a lot of FPS lag. Excuse me, NSX. This would be the best way in the world. Because I like to call them idiots or chickens. Now, squander it by by a bright yellow vector W8. Oh my nose. Relevant. 
mine, this was from a tall That was from a, an older built tornado. Oh god, those, yeah, those things were like ridiculously fast. Stay close to me now, microphone. Tornado. Why is it called the Tornado? Why can't it just call it the Tornado? Also, the Venture Speed is a closed cockpit out of the arcades. Yeah, but the Audi R8 is just an open cockpit, a diesel version of the Bentley Speed 8. No. The R8 was not diesel, that was the R10. Not bad, the Tornado was the second front wheel drive American car ever. The first front wheel drive American car with a V8. So, um,. About that, did it, did it actually, you know, steer? Did it, did it steer, not kill people? Because the V8, a big heavy V8 lump with pressing on the front wheels at speed is, you know, a recipe for death. It was a good car. First hit the market in 1966. Ah, the period of the muscle car. Back when muscle cars were muscle cars, not, you know, reincarnations of old cool classics. Was it incidentally also an on automobile? Yep, the Bentley was all British. It was from 1920, and no, it was not an old automobile. It's a V8 with a honey with Honeywell Turbo Technologies and used as the, as the initial, initial power plant in 01 with a six speed gearbox. It was locked for the car that with the unit in the R8. The was is custom built by X by Crosstrack. Bentley also chose to run Dunlop to instead of Michigan, which used by Al. Yeah, because the, uh, the Dunlop. The Dunlops actually required better grip, while the, the it was either because the Dunlops provided better grip or endurance, or it was because the tyres were softer. That's a big wall tax. Whoa, car, please. I decided to switch to Michelin in 2003. Interesting. Ah, Bentley and their bloody racing pedigree. Racing pedigree lives on today in the Bentley Continental GT. Which is basic. Which is basically, I don't know, a gentleman wearing trainers. Well, a gentleman, a 1930s gentleman with, I don't know, with red, red, red book. Anyway, that was the fastest lap. The CDMA one came last. How?
cockpit would also be tapered to to allow better airflow from the rear wing. Yep, airflow was the airflow was the main game of any of the mods anyway. Anyway, any of the mods car airflow was the best thing you could have. You could have all the power in the world, but if you didn't have airflow, you were screwed. Back front was replaced with a raised crash box. The nose with all deep valleys ran between the nose and the fenders. This required the addition of a large horizontal bodywork between the nose and the fenders to shroud the suspension arms of the Speed 8. Ah, the R18, the hybrid. Because Audi decided to go full, decided to go full green piece in that thing. And say, yes, we're going to take the technologies from the Toyota, from the Toyota, from the Toyota Prius and say, we're going to make a race car out of that. Also, this is the last race of the championship. And then I'm gonna bet. Exxon, not Esso. text right now Drop the e-tron name because they dropped the e-tron name because it was well. Why? What? What would be the point? Most of most car, most, most of the um, most of the one cars in 2016 were already hybrids, so. Hybrid was a requirement in the 2016 FIA World Endurance Championships, and it was all because of emissions. But incidentally, it also increased power output and torque, so really they made the cars faster despite being more eco, eco-friendly. Both WC events, Sil Silverson Spa, Frank Corcham. Jumps. However, an irregularity concerning the underbody of the winning car services resulted in the winning car being outlawed. Audi decided to not dispute this decision. Yeah, because, you know. I mean, Audi didn't dispute the decision, I believe it was because of. I can't remember what it was. I I don't think it was because of PR. I don't think it was because of publicity either. I don't think they bothered because what's the point? I mean, they weren't charged points. They were still believing. Gravel trap car at the gravel. Thank you. Also, will Porsche 9 one 
line that you won't break the turbo records. The lap record, I doubt it. But who knows? Maybe maybe Porsche will. I mean, they do they do test all their race cars there anyway. One thirteen. I want one. Oh, let me let's get let's get one minute eleven. At least one minute eleven point eight. I can get the hell out the gravel first. isn't there no no it's eight it's eight points per race not ten why am i thinking it's gt3 all of a sudden anyway we win 50k also take a look at the links i shall in the momento big gold trophy 200k we have 1.3 million and a brand new cur that is that for the special events. Let's have a look at what we got. We got a Takata NSX. Not bad at all. Not bad at all.